Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're talking about 5G, 5G networks and uh, the, the differences and why 5G will benefit AMD. Uh, basically, this news was released on December 5th, 2017 where AMD and Qualcomm uh, basically are revealed that they're working together to develop uh, always connected high-end PC uh, they they didn't announce any any actual computers yet but they announced their partnership and uh, this is important because when it comes to because when 5g comes out when 5g networks are actually out AMD will have a competitive edge over Intel because Qualcomm is a much better mobile internet company than Intel. They've been because that's their main business. Their main business is to put internet chips and like cell phone processor into cell phones. So when 5G comes out, Qualcomm will be like the first companies to be putting 5G into like basically AMD's computer laptops so this will definitely give AMD a competitive advantage especially when it comes to gaming because then you can high-end game with fast quality internet anywhere you want as long as you have a 5G internet connection so 5G is revolutional it's it's such a big difference than 4G and I'll explain why later but I just want to point out in this uh, article they mentioned that they've been working together since uh, 2011 let me just try to find this real quick for you guys 2000 since 2011 Qualcomm has provided wireless uh, internet for AMD platforms so they've been working together for a while so uh and i think they're going about to they're ready probably by winter time christmas time they're probably going to release some uh amd internet connected laptops at least that's my assumption i don't know i guess i'll, I'll keep an eye out on this so this is the difference between f uh 5g 1g is basically back in the day it was just a cell phone where you phone people and that was it like you can only talk to people and then 2G was when you can provide uh, text messages and like basic basic internet you know like the flip phones back in the day that was 2G and then 3G was when you finally get to connect to the internet have a web browser download apps and uh, it was like you know the remember you guys remember the iPhone 3G that's the uh, 3G. That's like the first iteration of a smartphone. And then 4G LTE is something that we've been with for I think at least a good three or four years now. It's um, it's very fast internet. Uh, you can basically can watch basically your cell phones now. Most of your cell phones now should be 4G. You can like watch YouTube videos and surf the internet much faster than 3G. So. Um, and then 5G, I have a video for you guys for 5G uh, that I think explains it very well. Hold on, I'm just going to face the mic that away so it's a little bit louder for you guys. more about connectivity for machines so that they can transform our lives and deliver services um, much faster, much quicker than we could ever perceive today. With 4G today, there's higher latency in the network, so this is the amount of time it takes to transmit data from the device to the network and back again. With 5G, that communication path will allow you to communicate much quicker and you'll be able to control machines. So in this demonstration here today, we have uh, this camera, which is recording the position of this ball on this plate. And then this position is recorded by a mobile edge cloud computing environment that then is intelligently controlling these robots, sending them the commands across the network to balance this ball on the plate. In this first demonstration, 
and you can see on the screen here behind me, we're showing the current latency of what would be a 4G network, it's around 90 to 100 milliseconds. And on the right hand side, you'll be able to see this line move as we move the ball on the plate. So what I'm going to do is move this ball right now, and we can see the oscillations here tracked on this graph, and how long it takes for the robots to collaborate with each other to get the information they need to balance the ball on the plate. And then we're going to switch into 5G mode. And we can see on this graph here that we've now gone from around 90 milliseconds to around 3 milliseconds, so much, much lower latency in the network. And I'm going to do exactly the same again. And we can see that we only took one oscillation there to correct the ball. So you can see how the reduction in the latency in the network improves the communication between the machines, which is critical for future networks. I think for society, for humanity as a whole, what we're going to see is a transformation of our um, existing technologies to automate everything. So you can imagine healthcare, automotive, or in the mining industry, or in other areas that are very uh, critical or dangerous for humans. We can actually send a machine in and actually control them remotely over a 5G wireless network because of that low latency in the network. So uh, a huge transformation in the way we utilize our, our network and what we're able to control and do with our machines. Well, there you go. Uh, 5G is a big step. That's artificial intelligence is where 5G comes in. Uh, self-driving cars will be... F everybody will have full self-driving cars when 5G comes out. 5G is going to be so revolutional. I, I, when, I, when I was watching uh, Jeremy Jano and it kind of inspired me to do a video about 5G and I kind of related to AMD because uh, I wanted a stock to talk about a subject that is related in this industry to talk about and AMD and Qualcomm's partnership really reflects what 5G could do for laptops and mobile laptops so it's amazing I can't wait to see the, the future of 5G uh, I'm excited, um, yeah, 5G is going to just change things so much for people, and, and it's going to be revolutional, at least that's why I believe it's the next step of technology for, for human, humankind, and it'll probably be around with us for another five years until we get like, I don't know, 6G, <laughs> uh, okay, I guess, let's see how long, oh, Seven minutes and forty eight seconds. Sorry guys, I gotta make this ten minutes because uh I get more money for a ten minute video. Uh I I, I was hoping that this was gonna last till ten minutes, but uh I guess we can go back to the review of uh one G. Uh, if you guys remember like the cell phones back in the day, the big bulky ones that like no like military uses that look kind of like radios yeah those are those are 1G and then 2G is like your flip phones and your your old old phones like the, the first mobile cell phones that were small and then 3G's are like the first smartphones the first probably the first three years of smartphones or four years of smartphones before we got to 4G and LTE networks where now we can stream uh, YouTube videos and high definition videos and 5G is just gonna is just gonna be like so much better I I don't even I can't even imagine what 5G with I plan to not upgrade my cell phone until 5G comes out if there's a 5G cell phone and a 5G network with you know unlimited internet I would totally upgrade my cell phone and I would pay more money for the unlimited internet right now I'm just paying for one gig of data and because most of the time I just connect to my home internet but um, I don't know 5G sounds exciting and uh, I can't wait for it I think 5G is going to be the start of also self-driving cars but uh, yeah so I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the future um okay let's see um so 5g 
being tested through pacifications of 5G have not been formulated, certified. We can expect new technology to be rolled out around 2020. So two more years, this is already 2018, halfway in 2018 to one and a half years from now, we'll have 5G, which is uh, which will be awesome. I can't wait. Um, I hope you guys are excited as I am excited. So one one to ten gigabytes per second. Oh wow, that's that's insane. What's four G? Uh, doesn't even tell me. Oh well, whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, please give me a thumbs down. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.